Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. You know, over the years, people have asked, number, a lot of times, people have asked me, uh, Bob, what's your favorite thing? They want one favorite thing, or uh, what's your five favorite things in your vehicle? And this was kind of my criteria for all of them. If I lost it today, would I reorder it right away? And so these are five things that I would reorder right away. Let's go look at five unsung heroes, things you don't think are exciting, but man, they make my life a lot better. All right, let's go. Uh, this is something that I really, truly love. I have, in fact, had to buy them a couple times because I've driven off without them. I've bought them three times. This is the third that I've got in my hand. So this is one that I, I, I love. It's, it's a tri-leveler. You drive, just drive up on it and uh, one level, two level, three levels. And I've also found you can kind of just stop anywhere along the way. Now, this one's broken. You can see that this isn't quite right here. This should go over and up and then down, and that's all gone. And normally, if I was showing you something that was broken, I'd be saying, oh, this was crap, don't buy it. I'm still telling you I love this thing. I will buy another one to replace it, and then I'll have three. And I have found times when I wanted three. And the way I broke it off, and it's remarkably strong and powerful, is by going too far and rolling off. So I love these things. It's made by Campco. The first set I bought was $25 each. They only sell them by the one. This is $45, but I'm going to buy another one because I find them that useful. I love the durability, most of all, and the practicality. It'll raise you, it'll raise you about five inches, and a lot of time that's enough. If not, well, you just can't get level. That's too bad. Uh, where I'm parked right now, I had to put it up, and so there you can see it's up uh, about uh, four or five inches up off. Getting a good night's sleep is critical, and not falling over if you're older and you have balance issues and your your rig is like this and tilted down and sideways, and I'm exaggerating, but uh, your risk of falling and losing your balance inside are, are much higher, and that could really be a severe problem. I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want that to happen to you. So these things really take care of that. Again, uh, these are not essential. You can do, you can live your life really well without it. All right, let's move on to the next item. Now, the next unsung hero of van life that I want to talk about is one that is very mundane. You never think about it, but man, I love this thing. It's this step. If, you, if you're an RV or a very tall rig like I am, uh, so the my up to where I step in is 19 inches. This is 15 inches, and each step's about seven and a half um, to get up to 15, then to step in. But I'm getting older, and my balance isn't perfect, and uh, I this thing will never, ever move or flip on me. And to me, that is the most important thing, is that it be solid and stable and never move. It's super heavy duty. It's never going to fail. Let me tell you how much I love this thing. I bought it and fell in love with it, had to have it. And I went to the dump one day, it was in Quartzsite, I think, and I was taking my trash in and out and I drove away without it. That very day I ordered, I went back to find it, but it was either in the trash pile or uh, or taken. If, it, if I got there and it was sitting there, I'd take it home. Uh, and so it was gone. And I ordered one that very day. I don't ever want to be without one of these. This is not going to work for most of you. I know that. This is one that I also love. I love the width at its widest point. It's 17 inches. The legs go out. They don't just go straight down. And that's where I think you get in trouble is when they go straight down. But they go out and across here, it's 23, a little bit more than 23. And the step is plenty big enough and it's height adjustable. So this is its tallest height. At the tallest, it's a foot. So you push in both sides, and it goes right down. And that's the lowest. So now, now it's a much more reasonable height. It's uh, nine inches. The problem with this is it's huge, and it's, uh, you can't store it. I have, you have to have a big rig. But the flags fold down on this, so you just put this one down, and it just goes down flat. And now it folds down to nothing. Uh, this is easy to carry around. It's all aluminum, not steel, so it's as light as a, a solid step can be. So these two are um, my unsung hero. 
Now let's go look at another one. So another unsung hero that I love, I have owned a stove just like this. I've been on the road living in a vehicle for 22 years uh, total, not all in continuous. And at least 20 of those years, I have owned this stove because, and I've owned a lot of stoves. I started like a lot of you with a Coleman two burner and I never used the other burner and it was big and I just didn't need it. And I tried, this isn't the only stove. I've played with other stoves. People love the butane stoves with the little cartridge that you screw in and they're, they're so small and cute. I've tried, I bought a couple, three of them. Most of them have broken and I've thrown them away. And I always come back to this. And again, 20 years I've been using this and it's the one I'm gonna to recommend to you now. It's going to work and it's gonna work forever. Of course, it cooks on it really well. Big, wide burners. And not only do I cook on it, I actually use it as heat. With just, if you pick one of these up and you can't beat Walmart, so buy it at Walmart. Um, a clay flower pot and you put it right on top here, you got an oven. And this is what I have used for heat for decades. And I never leave it on overnight. So this is all, I'll have it on before bed. My rig will be toasty, then I'll turn it off and I'll go to bed. I also always have a carbon monoxide detector. Now, the problem with these all propane heat is that the, the heater itself puts out moisture. But I'm in the desert and uh, it's not a problem because it, it's dry anyway and it feels a little better to have a little moisture in the air. If you're a really humid place, this isn't the way to heat your rig. But it does have a couple of downsides. The highest heat is 7,500 BTU, which really is not a lot. 10,000 is, is a, a lot. It doesn't simmer very well, although it's a low, not all that powerful, but it still doesn't simmer all that well. Those are the only two flaws, but I, if, if uh, uh, someone steals this one tonight, I'll order another one tomorrow. That's how much I like these things. And I totally recommend them to you. Here's an advantage that propane has. This thing will burn, this propane, any propane from any model, any bottle. Well, I've burned propane at 30 below. Uh, butane stops uh, burning at, at freezing, just a little bit below freezing and just not working anymore. A lot of people will put it under their armpit, get it warm. Uh, the fact that propane works in any cold temperature, um, and I do use this for heat, tells me that I'm going to use propane and not butane. Now, one of the things that I love about this stove and any, any propane stove is you can buy an adapter. This is the adapter. This threaded end is exactly like the threaded end of this Coleman green bottle. This unscrews off, this screws in, and then this goes into your propane bottle. It's, this is $23, this, and it's steel braided. Link down below to all this stuff. Uh, but man, this thing is fantastic. I've always owned uh, plastic hoses, and they've always failed. And this one even has a, a little um, fuel gauge. These things aren't terribly reliable, but they're reliable enough. I don't recommend these little bottles. I've had nothing but trouble, and I've owned a lot of them. I've had nothing but trouble filling them. Uh, so nobody wants to carry a 20 pound propane bottle in a small rig, but if you're going to use your propane for heat, you really have to. I'll stop there. So that's another unsung hero that I really like. Let's move on to another one. So another unsung hero that I love having, and uh, it's odd. I tell people I have one and I love it, and I come out and I use it, and they think, what's well, weird, you're so weird. Why do you have an umbrella? I have an umbrella because it rains, and maybe the world you live in, it never rains on you, but it rains on my world pretty often. I, they claim to be the recommended by the Pro Golf Tour, and all, of course, a lot of great advertising, but I have owned this umbrella for eight years, and it has performed flawlessly. I use this thing in a lot of very heavy winds, and it it has never, you know, reversed. You see people, umbrellas that do that. It's never done that. The wind's coming from that side. You have to go this way, and if the wind's coming, you ha I, I've walked a lot with it just like this, just barely covering me. And I've, I've gotten it down here so that I, <clears throat> you know, so that I can just barely see the road in front of me. But it's gotten me home from a lot of walks. I got a dog, Cody. Most of you know Cody. Uh, and um, he's got to go for a walk twice a day. Um, this was a 58 inch and you can see it's silver here. I bought it with the idea that I could use it in the sun for heat. 
I have never once done that. I like the biggest one. I like 58. I would buy it bigger if, if I don't think they had a bigger one when I bought this. Uh, I would buy the biggest one you could buy. To my mind, the bigger the better. And $85, I've gotten eight years of use out of it, so I paid $10 a year for this thing. And I twirl it. You get to twirl it. It's free to twirl. Uh, it's endless entertainment. Let me show you how it folds up. And now it's just, I love this thing. I, I know it. I know it. It's Nothing could be more mundane. But I think the 70, 80 bucks, I, I would never, ever uh, be without it. If this one broke today, I'd buy one today. That's kind of what makes it an unsung hero. I want it. It helps my life. It makes my life better. And so uh, I'm going to own it. All right. Now let's look at the next unsung hero. So one of the things that I consider essential is a good night's sleep. I mean, who doesn't think a good night's sleep is essential? And yet, then the mattress determines that for the most part. A lot of other factors, but if you go to bed on an uncomfortable mattress, it doesn't matter if everything else is perfect, you're not going to sleep well. I have slept on many dozens of different kinds of sleeping pads. And so when I bought this ambulance about two and a half years ago, I needed to get a new pad because it was different size and length. This is a three inch memory foam, and I tried one and I did not find that adequate. My, if I slept on my side and I mainly sleep on my side, my hip hits the bottom. You can see that, of course, just like most nomads, I have uh, just plywood at the bottom. And that's not soft or giving. And so I had to, uh, I bought another one. I found the two together to be fantastic. On the bottom, it, you know, this is a um, this is a cover. Nice cover. It zips off. You can unzip it if you have to. Get it out and wash it. Uh, and on the bottom, this is a non-slip. It's got knobbies. I don't know if you can hear the knobbies but, or see them. Probably not. But uh, it's very, it doesn't slide around at all. This thing is rock solid, never moves. So uh, go check it out. There'll be a link for it down in the description. Good night's sleep is crucial. You're not going to have a good life without a good night's sleep. And these have provided it for me. Two thumbs up. Five stars, highly, highly recommended. So there you have it. Five different things I find uh, that are really boring, but man, they're important to me. Maybe they won't be important to you. Again, the most important thing is don't spend money, the extra money that you don't have if it's a luxury. Okay, I hope you got something out of that. That just gave, maybe gave you a new idea of different particular products that worked really well. I'll probably think some more of these and do it again later on. I was getting into the van one day and I thought, man, I really love these steps. I should tell people about them. So that's what this video is. All right. If you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. And remember, die with a lot of amazing, wonderful memories and not with a lot of regrets, dreams that were unfulfilled. I wish I would have. I wish I could have. So live your very best life and live it today. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye now.